Hello there, in this video, I will teach you how to create a WhatsApp chatbot using Librami's no-code chatbot builder. In order to create a chatbot, first you need to sign up an account with Librami.com and activate a package. After activating a package, you need to complete the embedded sign-up form to connect your phone number with the meta. After that, you can access this dashboard and then you can find this chatbot icon. If you click on the chatbot icon, it will open a page. To create a new chatbot, I'm clicking on create a bot button. It will open up a canvas to create a chatbot. Before creating a chatbot, I will explain all the tools available here. The chatbot start with the start module and you can choose all the tools available here. Under the message title, you can see some options. These are the message type which we can send from the bot to the user. It consists of text message and it can be image message, video, YouTube. And if you want to send a PDF file or any files which supported in WhatsApp, you can use the file module and audio, location and contact. And there are two types of interactive message. One is quick reply, which has three buttons. And the next one is list message, which can have up to 10 options. And next module groups are input groups. We can collect and validate the user response, which means if you want to collect only the text from the user, we can use the text module. And next, if we want the user to send only the number input, we can use the number. Similarly, for the email, website, date, time, phone, file, and location. I will show you all this module in action and then you can easily understand all other advanced modules. Now let's start building the chatbot. To build the chatbot easily, I have already prepared a draft script for a real estate company named Property Kit. And it started with a greeting message with three buttons. So to send a greeting message with three buttons, I have to use the interactive button message. So I'm copying this text and using the quick reply module to send the first message. So I simply drag this module and drop it this on the canvas and connect it with the start module. And now click inside and simply paste the text here in the body. And you can have actually header message. Right now, I'll be choosing an image header, which means this message will send with a nice image. So I'll be uploading an image. And now I can simply click here and add the options which I planned here earlier, which is buy, rent and sell. So first option is buy, rent and sell. In this chatbot, I'm not planning to build the flow from rent and sell option. So this chatbot will continue when a user click on the buy button. To continue building the chatbot from the buy option, I can use this edge to connect with the next module. So let's see what is the next message. The next one is what is your budget, which consists of more than three options. So I cannot use the interactive quick reply message. So instead, I can use the list message. Okay, so I'm copying this message and I'm choosing the list module and simply connect the buy edge with the group two. So when you select buy, the next group will execute. Here I'm pasting the text, what is your budget? And I will be creating the buttons for all these options. First one is below 500K. Next is 500K to 1 million. Similarly, 1 million to 2 million and 25 million plus. So that's it. As you can see, I have added seven options, but it can have up to 10 options. That is a limit within the interactive list message within the WhatsApp. When a user receives this particular message, they will be selecting any option so that we need to save that particular option in a variable. To save, you need to click on this module to see all the available options. And if you scroll down, you can see an option, save the ad insert in a variable. So we can create a new variable named budget. The selected option will be saved in this variable. So here we can continue with the default block. We don't need to define a different flow for each of this button. So the next message I have drafted to ask to the customer is native country. So I'm copying the same and I'm using the text message here. So from the default module, I'm selecting and pasting the text I copied your native country. And I can use the text module to simply collect a text input. And I can use the variable name country. So the user input will be saved as a variable. And next question is, may I know your age? So to send a text message again, I will be using the text module. So in this case, I cannot collect a text input from the user because it's a number I'm expecting. So then I'm using the number module and collect the age as a variable. So the user input will be saved as a variable named age. And the next is what is the nature of your interest in this property? Please select an option. It has only two options. So I can use the quick reply again. And I'm adding the investment and on user options. And the next question is great choice when you expect to move in. Please select an option. This one also have three options. So I can use another quick reply module. So simply I'm selecting it from the default module and pasting the text content. And I'm adding the button such as immediately in three to six months and also next year. And now I miss the step that to collect the nature of interest as a variable. To do that again, nature of investment. I have saved as a variable. And now after the planned move date, I have to collect the email ID from the user. So in here, you can probably guess what I'm going to use. That will be a text message first. 
to ask the question to the user and then i'll be collecting the email and in this case if user try to send anything except an email it will validate and send a message back to the user that this is not an email you should send an email like that so i'll be using email as a variable so the email will be collected on the email variable and finally the last message is saying a thanks with it is sending all the provided details back to the user and also with information message that one of the property concern then will get in touch with shortly so i'll be copying this message and choosing a text block again and now i'm going to send all the details provided by the user to the user for that i'm using the text module and to give a delay in between i'm using the delay module and adding two seconds and the first data they provided is for example it is email to send back the email i can use the email variable and next is the country i'm using the country as a label and then choosing the country so which is collected as a country variable and next is the age which will be age and next is moving date i haven't saved as a variable so that i need to save is move in plan which i can use here now uh, this is a very basic chatbot now to test this chatbot i am going to add a short code for this particular chatbot since i have multiple chatbot i need to trigger this particular chatbot for that click on this button and add a short code i'm adding lead as a short code now simply save this and let's test this chatbot and now i have shared my whatsapp on the screen and uh, to start the chatbot i'm entering hash start lead that is the short code and now i'm expecting the message with the media title yes i have received the message now i'm clicking on the buy button i should be receiving the list message yes i received it now you can see the difference between the interactive quick replay and the list replay with the quick replay all the buttons is directly embedded with the message and with the list replay it is available when i click on the view button and you can even change the view label to something else and now uh, within the list message i'm selecting 1 million to 2 million let's see and should should ask me the country where i'm from yeah i'm entering india and the next one is my age and the next is the nature of the investment i'm selecting yeah it's for an investment let's see and i'm planning to move in in less than 3 to 6 months i'm entering my email id now you see all the data i provided is sent back to me as my email country age moving planning all the variables is saved in a memory and used to send me back which mean the variables is a very powerful feature all the input can be saved in a variables and used anywhere in the chatbot Libromi chatbot builder is way advanced than I can explain in a single video. I haven't used many modules available here, but those are very powerful, such as REST API. If you are familiar with REST API, you can easily push this data to a third-party server and even retrieve a data, which means you can even build a WhatsApp banking system using Libromi Connect. And there is a Google Sheet module. Using a Google Sheet module, you can simply write all these variables to a Google Sheet in real time. And there are third-party integrations such as Zapier, Make dot com, and Babbly. These three companies provide integration to 5,000 plus application, and using this, you can integrate any application out there. And there is a connect module to connect the CRM, which is available with the Libromi. Here you can see all the conversation happen with the chatbot, and we can even manually override the chatbot and continue the conversation. Also, assign between multiple staff, assign different tags. All this can be done within chatbot as using this connect module. For example, if you click here, you can see actions such as assign tag, remove tag, assign. group remove group and do not disturb assign staff etc this is very powerful and there is a payment module to collect a payment online then there are dynamic modules such as dynamic quick reply and dynamic list similar to this one right now i have used predefined inputs here as options but sometimes these inputs will be fetched from the server and which will be dynamic which can be implemented using the dynamic quick reply and dynamic list and if you are interested to explore libromi connect you can sign up for an account on libromi.com and explore all these features